In this video, I'm going to show you how to use some of the new 360 immersive features found in Adobe Premiere Pro and Photoshop. We'll also be showing you Mocha VR for the tracking and the object removal. We'll start by mapping the VR display shortcut to our layout. This allows us to pan around the 360 video clip. Our goal is to remove the tripod shadow going across the helicopter. We can also see a couple noticeable stitching errors. Rather than send this clip to AE for tracking and paint, we will use Mocha VR for the tracking in Photoshop to paint out and remove the shadow. We'll apply the Mocha VR plugin and launch into Mocha's interface. We select the 360 button and the X key to pan around in a flattened rectilinear space. We'll draw an X spline around this area and track forwards. When our track is done, we can show a graphic and align our surface to make sure that we have a good track. Next, we'll select the Uber key and change our shape layer to cover the area that I want to paint out. We'll create a smaller layer on top of my tracked layer to define what will be removed. The remove layer does not have to be tracked. With that layer selected, we'll go to the remove module and select create clean plate. This will export a single frame to file that we can paint in Photoshop. Now for the fun part. The newest Adobe Photoshop 2018 release has the ability to create spherical panoramas for 360 image editing. Now we can pan around the 360 canvas inside Photoshop and do our paint fixes in a flattened view. First we'll copy our layers so we can use all the typical paint and clone tools. Here I used the clone stamp tool and some basic masking techniques to paint out the shadows and the camera person's fingers. I merged this down before saving the file. I saved this on top of our exported clean plate. Back in Mocha VR, the file is automatically linked. So all we have to do is select the layer, go to the remove module and do some test renders. Selecting Use Clean Plates Exclusively is important here, as there are no clean frames in the clip. We force Mocha VR to use the one painted frame as our remove source, and will be married to the tracking on the bottom layer. If we're happy with our test renders, we can close Mocha VR and change the plugin settings to Render and select the Remove. After our render is done, we'll play back the clip, and we can pan around and make sure that our object removal looks realistic. So the ability to use new 360 tools found in Premiere and Photoshop combined with Mocha VR's tracking and remove is an excellent way to finish your immersive video projects. To learn more about Mocha VR, visit us at BorisFX.